Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt, and this is the Sacramento Report. My guest this segment is Kurt Hagman, who is a member of the State Assembly from Chino Hills. Thanks very much for being with us. Great to be here with you, Steve. Well, we're looking at uh, a budget situation where it won't be balanced unless there is a tax increase approved by the voters in the fall, correct? Well, that's what the governor is telling us right now. Uh, you know, a couple of things happen. Everyone remembers last year, the first budget go around, um, the legislature went to pass the governor's cuts. So they balanced out of the budget saying we're going to get more income than what actually happened. So there, we spent about a billion and a half or a billion and seven more than what we budgeted last year, as well as we didn't get the phantom four billion that they said was going to right. mysteriously appear. But the real problem is we will have more income this year than last year. So whatever it says about these cuts and the budget deficit, we all think that we're going to have less money. We actually have more money. And the governor predicts $4.5 billion more on the natural without the taxes. Well, but the state treasurer says that uh, since 2007, 2008, our general fund spending is actually down 16.5%. And just the year before, we, we show that their budget that they're projecting without the cuts. They want to spend, the governor wants to spend about 10 percent, 5 to 10 percent a year, and these his um, taxes will be close to 45 billion on on the economy here in California, on the, the businesses and the job creators here too. We think it's going the wrong direction. We think that we need to get California more competitive again. We're at the worst, we're at the number 50th when it comes to creating jobs and working here, and that will create more taxes on the natural and put more people to work. Uh, back during the dot-com boom, before it went bust, when Gray Davis was governor, uh, he had this huge surplus, I mean, many billions of dollars. Uh, he uh, allowed some of that money to be spent on new programs that the Democrats wanted, and the Republicans wanted tax cuts, and he got, they got the tax cuts. So I guess my question to you is, if you got the tax cuts back then when we were flush, why not uh, go for temporary tax increases right now when we need that, that, that bridge? We can't look at California in a vacuum, either our past or future is. We have to look at what is, just like any business, are we competitive with our other states? And the fact is that combining all the taxes together, Californians pay more in taxes and have more regulations than any other state in the union. And because of that, we have this max exodus of businesses and job creators coming out of the state. That's what I believe we're dealing with the symptoms with our budget of less money to spend because we don't have all the the multimillionaires are making the money here. They're moving out. They're paying taxes someplace where it's cheaper. The businesses are not growing here. They're growing in other states. And if anyone thinks, look at any number we have, we have the second highest unemployment in the country. We have the highest taxation, the highest regulations. Um, and so it makes it very difficult for us to come by. If all the taxes around the other states were much higher, then you can sit there and say, okay, California's in the medium. We'd go up a little bit. But we're at the highest level already, so we can't push anymore. The Democrats would say that corporate profits are... Um uh, the, over the last 20 years have tripled, whereas their tax, their taxes as a percent of net income have gone down from 8% to 5%. I, I definitely, you know, like a lot of us believe there are probably some reforms in taxation. Profits are all, I mean, the numbers are what it is. Um, a lot of our corporations are doing multinational businesses or overseas. Their profits may be way up, but the way they count what the business they do here in California within the United States may be different than overseas. Um, but we have to look at, you know, can we be competitive with other states? That's how I think we should be comparing it. And in just a couple seconds left, do you think the uh, tax, the governor's tax proposal in November has uh, much of a chance of being successful? From the polls I've seen so far, it's starting <laughs> off very weak. It's starting off in the low 50s, and that usually means it fails in the ballot. All right. Kurt Hagman of uh, Chino Hills, thanks very much for coming by, talking about this uh, critical issue. We appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. One reminder, you can watch this interview and others on My Government On Demand and also YouTube. Have a great day.